Yo, what up, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, man, we're going to get into some new Montana 300. Uh, a lot of cats have been uh, sending me comments like, yo, you got to get back to Montana or one take Timmy. Uh, the wordplay is off the charts. Uh, you'll see we have a folder below. We've actually done songs from both of them and done really intellectual breakdowns where we're going word by word and trying to understand the context of what they're saying and uh, breaking it down. Uh, so we're going to get right into Blamas right here. And I think we got both of them on the same track. Uh, that's Montana 300 as well as One Take Timmy. Uh, man, shout out Chicago where I'm from. Uh, so it's always good. I think, uh, uh, well, they're, they're not both from Chicago, but still shout out Chicago, man. All right, let's get right into it, man. This is Blamas here. Let's get me out of the way. You don't want to see my ugly, oh, Shrek body ass motherfucker on your screen here. Uh, let's get to it. They got an official video for this one too, so let's go. Blamos. Big money brace rolls in this bitch. Got the Bentley. Two straps like a grandpa. Stay with the Blamos. <laughs> He's saying two straps like a pamper, right? Like two straps on each the one on one on each side. Sick. Mm. It's just even to charge me, right? He said uh, he keeps his his Nina off of safety. He's talking about his pistol, right? Uh, charge them like a late fee, charge at someone you don't like or attack, but wordplay like charging on a card, right? With the late fee, sick. Kicking it off. Like. Ooh, just the wordplay before he gets into the flow. I love the the the, the best writers. They have really subtle wordplay where you might miss it, right? Uh, just the, he had some wordplay there on working, getting fired, and what he say? He said, uh, "What he said? I got shooters. That's for hire, right? Like you hire someone." Uh, and then he said, "Off you when they fire." Right? Off you as in kill a motherfucker, right? But fire, obviously he's rubbing hired and fired. Um, and he said he's going to show these niggas who's boss, right? Who's boss? Hired, fired, and boss. So it's just a, a nice little word scheme there before he even got into the bars. Come on now. Keep up! I shoot a sand pass it to me. Murder in the fastest degree. Burner in the passenger seat. You might not want to crash into me. I might go and spaz on this beat. Your favorite rapper trash, nigga weak. Make a splash in the sea. He tried me his ass from the sea. He said he couldn't make a splash in the sea. That's just a, that's another way of saying it, saying uh you couldn't get a hit if you were holding a hammer, right? Like the most basic shit. What Kanye say, motherfucker, you'll fuck up a free lunch, dog. <laughs> Favorite rapper trash, nigga weak. He couldn't make a splash in the sea. He tried me his ass from the sea. Guns romancing with me. Don't mind me. I didn't get my breakfast this morning. Run that back. Might not want to crash into me. I might go and spaz on this beat. Your favorite rapper trash, nigga weak. He couldn't make a splash in the sea. He tried me his ass from the sea. Guns romancing with me. They really fucking up the romance. She just want to fucking hold hands. I can't. I got a gun in both hands. I do the fuck splash in the sea. He tried me his ass from the sea. Guns See, I didn't even catch that at first. The wordplay there, right? Off the live we were just breaking down, made a splash in the sea. I say he tried me his ass finna see. That's that fuck around and find out. The wish factor, right? Um, but what he's doing there, rapping C, like splashing in the C, S-E-A, with his ass finna see, S-E-E. Um, in linguistics, this is, uh, 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 it's not a homonym, but this is what's called a homophone. They share the same sound when they're spoken, right? The two words. Um, it's very similar to like you might know of a homonym, um, uh, the same pronunciation, but have different meanings. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to correct. Uh, that's a homophone. 
beach. He couldn't make a splash in the sea. He tried me his ass from the sea. Guns romancing with me. They really fucking up the romance. He just wanna fucking hold hands. I can't, I got a gun in both hands. I do the rock away, I don't dance. Arms on my way, slow dance. Heard he wanna take no chance. Curse in your Ooh. face, no man. Yeah. Wanna take no chance, right? But his uh, one take, right? One take Timmy. My way, slow dance. Heard he wanna take no chance. Curse in your face, no man. <laughs> my little Nina, she get meaner if I disturb her. All my people, she a keeper. I don't deserve her. Ah, uh, speaking to the gun like it's a girl, right? I disturb her. All my people, she a keeper. I don't deserve her. New suppressor on the side of this shit unheard of. Uh, so I guess I'll call it Bobby. That's a sh murder. Ooh. <laughs> That wordplay was sick, right? He's talking to his nine, right? His pistol, like it's his girl. He said, uh, new presser, new suppressor on it, right? A suppressor, you could think of like a silencer. He said that shit unheard of, right? But unheard, like you're less likely to hear it because you're using a suppressor. Uh, he said, I call it Bobby. I got that smurda referencing Bobby Schmurda, right? Come on now, sick. Guess I'll call it Bobby. That's, That's excellent writing. <laughs> when they uh. up on your fraud ass, I bet niggas haul ass. <laughs> gotta make a few calls. I hear my soldiers get your dog tag. Ooh, get your dog tag. That's an old military reference, right? A dog tag is what they give you to identify yourself uh, in the U.S. Army, right? You get a dog tag. It has your birth date. Uh, has your full name on it. A way to identify you in case something happens to you. Well, sometimes the enemy will take your dog tag after they kill you, and it's a good way to show, look at all these heads I got. It's kind of like showing the shrunken heads. So if he's coming, he's getting your dog tag, um, He's you, you're one of his collection, bro. You know, you been got, motherfucker. You're about to say hi to your maker, right? Pull up on your fraud ass. Pull up all your fraud ass. I just got to make a few calls. Yeah, it's easy, motherfucker. Motherfuckers in Chicago know you just gotta make a few. You gotta mention some when you're at the barber shop, right? You just gotta mention somebody. So I'd be like, "Hey, Joe, holla at me outside, bro." <laughs> right? I just gotta make a few calls. I hear my soldiers get your dog tag. That do it for a small bag. Blown, 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 blown. Lou Rawls, nigga. Ah, uh, Lou Rawls. Lou. <laughs> Lou Rawls is an old reference. That's somebody from, man, I want to say the 70s. Um, he might even be from the 60s, bro. If, I, if that's who I'm thinking of, he's from Chicago. Uh, he's got that, uh, you'll, you'll never find another love like mine. Um, uh, see you when I get there. That could be the reference, too. He said, what'd he say? Uh, do it for a small bag. And then it, what'd he say? He said, uh, oh, bloom, bloom, bloom. Lou Rawls, right? Lou Rawls got a track called See You When I Get There. Um, but he also did a really popular rendition of uh, uh, What a Wonderful World, right? I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world, <laughs> right? That's uh, uh, that was a Lou Rawls song. I, he didn't do it first. Uh, Louis Armstrong did it first. I think he did it. Louis Armstrong did it in '67, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I, I let me know if you guys know what he's thinking of. That bloom, 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 bloom. I think they say that in that you'll never find another love. Um, by Lou Rawls. I, I you know, check it out or let me know in the comment section if you get that reference. The wordplay to it, he did it cool off. A, re a reference to a 90s, which are, a lot of his references, it seems, are old, right? They're dated. Uh, shout out Who's the Boss. I used to have a big crush on Alyssa Milano uh, from that show when I was growing up. But who's the Boss? Uh, sounds like uh, he might be throwing a little reference out there. Yeah, off you when they fire. It's time to show these niggas who's boss. 
Been dropping niggas like ride share. I'm a flight killer since the <laughs> Been dropping niggas like ride share, right? Like dropping, like killing, right? In the urban sense, but it's also wordplay, like how Uber and Lyft uh, drop people off everywhere. <laughs> good, man, that's just good writing. It's just clever. So clever, it's like gives you a chuckle, right? Hey, yeah. Off you when they fire. Bro, how many cats in the game? Like, I, you know, we do on this station, we only do the mo most lyrically dense artists, right? Aesop Rock, Tony Wigway, Logic, Eminem, uh, maybe J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, right? There's not a lot of cats in the game that are rapping at this same level. The writing is not at that level. I imagine he writes his own stuff. Man, it's a scary shot. Look at that. It just got to point it right at you, bro. Um, but uh, it's scary, man. He's, lyrically, um, this, is kind of, this is next level. There's not a lot of cats, especially in the Chicago rap scene, that are rapping at this level that I've heard. You know, I might not be the target demographic. I'm an gr old, grown-ass man right now. Um, but, man, in mad respect to the wordplay, uh, this shit is clever. Like, you legit got to chuckle out of me and laugh out loud, which is, uh, that hasn't happened in a minute. This is this is excellent writing, bro. Just, you know. And he's motherfucker said the flyest killer since Con Air, right? He's talking about the movie in 97. I was a freshman in high school when Con Air came out. Um, Nicolas Cage, uh, John Cusack, John Malkovich, uh, Steve Buscemi, the weird-ass dude. Uh, Danny Trejo, the Mexican with his face slashed. Uh, Ving Rhames, old big Debo looking ass, right? All of them cats are in it. Uh, it's about Nicolas Cage. He's this honorable army motherfucker. And he's like protecting his wife. And these motherfuckers are trying to fight him. And he actually goes and kills one of them. And uh, he goes to prison. This dude goes to prison for like 10 years. And is getting out. And he has to catch a, uh, catch a flight somehow. With this, um, what the fuck is the name? Uh, uh, he's got to catch a flight to get back to where he's going. But most of the other motherfuckers are going to maximum security. And all of a sudden, some shit kicks off. It's just, it, it's a good ass movie. But he's talking about Fly Killers. Uh, that's the reference to Con Air. It's a movie from 97. Excellent movie. Worth checking out. That's the cool off. And I got shooters that's for hire. Off you when they fire. <laughs> you know, I think I heard this in one of his other songs. He seems to like the uh, Montclair brand that are known for their jackets, right? You guys notice he keeps saying something. He doesn't say jacket. He specifically says his Montclair. Um, you know, a lot of cats, I, and I've heard this before, it was a question that I had before I... Uh, learn something about the company Montclair and why uh, their their line is becoming more of a, a term that we hear like a high end brand. Like what what what's so special about Montclair, right? Um, well, Montclair jackets they're known for their down filling, right? That's why a lot of people can recognize them. They're very puffy, um, but it's also very good for uh, insulation. They're extremely warm, right? Um, but I looked, and when you when you look into um, this company, they claim to have like superior expertise when it comes to down. Um, and they all of the down that they use to fill the coats, it has to be with something that's called um, DIST certified. Um, it's like this uh, protocol. They say they can trace the origin of the cotton and the fillers that they use to fill these coats. Um, but if you start doing some research, I'm just one of those dudes that might do it. You'll find that the trademark DIST is actually owned by Montclair. So it's not like an independent agency, which if you're reading up on the material, that it might make you think that. Um, but it's their own quality control division. So, you know, uh, it's not by some outside third party. Um, uh, and you'll also know if you ever want to check to see if somebody's got a Montclair fake, you look inside the jacket, there's a barcode on the jackets. You can actually scan the barcode um, and there's an app and then you can find out, you know, what style it is, uh, what what uh, size it was. But it's also going to tell you if it's a fake. It's going to give you numbers for support. 
Uh, so it's not just a jacket, right? It's a Montclair jacket. It does all of those things. And wait, there's more, right? <laughs> I feel like I need to be getting some Google ads going or something, right? Been dropping niggas like ride share. I'm the flight's killer since Con Air. Pistol up in my mind, clear and the safety's off. There's nine players. These niggas Ooh, like I no safety, nine players, right? I'm not really into organized sports. I do play ball. I used to. Uh, but he's talking about football. Uh, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about the safety off, but the safety off of the pistol like they've been referencing. Um, but he also referenced football safety and nine players. Um, and again, I get the general reference. I don't know what that means specifically. Help me out in the comment section if you do. I'm just not there for football, bro. I'm, I'm a big dude. I'm 340 something pounds, 350, let's say, six foot one. So I'm not a small guy. When I was in college, these, my, I'm in a frat, man. My frat guys are like, hey, B, hey, yo, we need you, bro. We're down one guy. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. You know, like, I'm, I'm chill right here. And they're like, come on, bro, you don't got to do too much. We'll show you. Bro, this is the fucking worst afternoon of my life, bro. I go, I'm running and shit. Motherfucker has the ball. I'm like, let me let me get this motherfucker, right? I'm just getting thrown around and shit. I was much thinner back in the day. And then also, I remember uh, motherfuckers trying to tackle me and shit, man. I just, I'm not a football dude. I can't even throw a football the right way, bro. I swear to God, most people don't know that when they deal with me. And they'd be like, man, those bears really killed us last night. I'd be like, yeah, they did, motherfucker. <laughs> but I don't know shit. I talk to you about some basketball. I get some old stats, too. Who's buff? Been dropping niggas like ride share. I'm the flight's killer since Con Air. Pistol up in my mind, clear and the safety's off. There's nine players. These niggas losing like Isaiah. Yeah, I lit them up like Times Square. Had a lightest top like Black. <laughs> he said, like niggas losing like Isaiah. That's it. He's also referencing another 90s show. This is stuff when I was a kid. Um, he's referencing the show Losing Isaiah. Um, this was, uh, I want to say, 92, 93. I was in grade school. This is a movie with Holly Berry. Um, but it's it's a custody battle uh, movie. Um, but that's what he's referencing. Uh, motherfuckers new, losing like Isaiah. Isaiah, yeah, I lit him up like Times Square. I had a lightest top like blind hair. Sent him <laughs> God, like my prayers. Lightest top, right? Lightest top, like hit him in the dome, right? Dome shot, head shot, whatever you want to do. But you know how white dudes be doing. They either have the blonde hair or when you uh, you get top highlights. Um, that's, that's what he's referring to. Pistol up in my mind, clear and the safety's off. There's nine players. These niggas losing like Isaiah. Yeah, I lit them up like Times Square. Had a lightest top like blind hair. Sent them up to God like my prayers. I just Ooh. don't mean I gotta beam up on that bitch. Like a leopard spot my steppers. I bet he not gonna trip it. But he tells me he fresh, boy. He gon' be box for this shit. I swear my gun smoking so much. I need to detox in his bitch. Come hey. on, I swear he won't make it back. Ain't no one cooping if he acting like he hard in his ass. That James Harden reference, bro. I gotta run that back. Been dropping niggas like ride share. I'm the flight's killer since Con Air. Pistol up in my mind, clear and the safety's off. There's nine players. These niggas losing like Isaiah. Yeah, I lit them up like Times Square. Had a lightest top like blind hair. Sent them up to God like my prayers. I just bought a new Nina. Got a beam up on it, bitch. Like a leopard spot my steppers. I bet he not gonna trip it. Bro, the wordplay trip, like trip from stepping, right? Um, or the trip he was gonna go take. Because he was going to meet his maker, right? Because he was getting sent up to God like his prayers for the line before. Did you catch that? Sick. He not good to trip. <laughs> Ooh, Dougie Fresh. Uh, this is another old reference. Uh, dude is known as a human beatbox. Uh, that's who he's referring to. That's Dougie Fresh. Says like Dougie Fresh, boy, he gon' beatbox for that shit. I swear my gun smoking so much, it need a detox in his bitch. Come my way and I swear he won't make it back. Ain't no one cooping if he acting like he hard in his ass. Better play for Houston Rockets. Yeah, Rockets. Houston Rockets. Houston pull up shooting, I ain't hooping. Hit his top up, get for he won't make it back. Ain't no one cooping if he acting like he hard in his ass. Better play for Houston Roger that no market. Houston pull up shooting, the reference, uh, sister, 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 sister. 
I got my own mind. I'm on my own time, right? That the annoying little boy next door that was Roger, who eventually grew up to be, uh, well, is Marquise Houston, right? Um, who got a little crazy, right? I don't know what's up with Marquise Houston. All I know is the motherfucker said they were touching him and shit, and I got all weird. I was like, oh, I, I don't need to know all about that story, though. <laughs> but uh, that's who the reference is, the annoying neighbor Roger. Um, uh, and he said, Roger that, right? Ooh. Houston, Houston yeah. Ooh. Shooting like basketball, right? He's not. But he, my shooter. That's a quarterback reference, right? Cam Newton. Ooh, another old reference. That's not 90s, though. That's like early 2000s. Uh, Ruben Stuttered uh, was that big black dude that won on American Idol. Oh, don't you remember you told you you loved me, baby? You said you'd be going back this way again, right? Baby, baby, baby. Um, I forgot who he won again. I, did he win? He had a, a Sorry 2004, I think was his album. Uh, but yeah, I think he's more on the gospel side nowadays, old American Idol face. I'm renewing, I'm a demon, lemon squeezing, nip and stutter like it's Ruben. First they back Ruben Stutter it, was his name. Now he's X-Men like the mutant, right? Shout out another early 90s reference. Uh, X-Men, right? Uh, Wolverine, Beast, uh, Professor X. But he's X-Men because you he, he just killed his ass, right? So he's like an X-Man, but X-Men. Sick. She's going to work to get that money. He's pimping her out, right? Sick. Just next level wordplay. Sick. Yo. And again, disregard the smoking. Uh, again, to, to get into it a little bit. But uh, yo, yo, this is on point. If you guys are fans of One Take Timmy and Montana 300, definitely check out their folders below. We've broken down uh, quite a few videos of each of those artists. And we're going to continue getting into their catalog and adding it there. So if you guys love the uh, in depth breakdowns, make sure you like the video. But man, subscribe to the channel, show some love, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.